Tens of millions of people try to learn to code every single year, but very few of them actually end up succeeding because the truth is that most people waste their time when they're learning to code by doing the wrong things. And chances are you are doing some of the five things that we are about to cover in this video that are the common ways that most people waste their time when they're learning to code. And the first way is related to this thing right here. This is a programming book. It's called Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. I haven't actually ever read this book, by the way. I just sort of bought it one day, thought it would be useful, never ended up needing it. But the thing here is that a lot of people think that learning to code is like going through a list of programming books. And once you read the books, then amazing, voila, you're a good programmer. And while it's often good to start with reading a programming book about whatever programming language you're learning, and by the way, this could be a book or a course or like whatever resource. I'm not actually a fan of books when it comes to programming, but that's a topic for another day. So I'm not saying these aren't helpful at all, but the thing is, once you have read the book, and this happened to me, like when I was learning, I think it was data structure and algorithms, I started by reading one of the more popular books around data structure and algorithms. Once I got to the end of the book, what happened? Well, if I opened any random page in the book, let's say this one, and I read through the contents of that page, like what that page was teaching, and then I tried to think to myself, okay, do I actually know this stuff? Like, could I actually apply this without looking at the book? And the answer is almost always no. Why? Because I was just reading the book without actually properly internalizing what I was learning. So while it can be helpful to learn some foundation with some basics book, the next step after that, after you finish the book, is not to pick up another book. It is something entirely different, but more on that later in the video. The second way you probably waste your time is you keep learning new programming languages. And this might sound like strange advice, like surely learning more programming languages, like that's exactly how you learn to code, but that is actually not correct. As someone who has learned many different programming languages, I can tell you that the more different languages and frameworks and technologies you learn doesn't actually lead to you becoming a better and better programmer. Really what being a great programmer means is not understanding all of these different languages and frameworks and everything. It means being really good at one specific area. Like let's say you understand the basics of web development using JavaScript, of mobile development using Swift and some machine learning programming using Python. That will not actually help you build anything interesting. It would not even help you get a job because to get a job or to build anything interesting, you need to be really good or at least pretty good in one specific area. Pick one path and stick to it. Obviously, if you want to become a web developer, you need HTML, CSS and JavaScript and a couple of frameworks, maybe things like this, but one specific skill stack that you need for some specific type of development and focus on getting really good at that type of development instead of sort of dipping your toes in a hundred different things. Now, there are still three more ways that we need to go through in which you're probably wasting your time when you're learning to code. But before we go into them, I just want to make it clear that I'm not making fun of you if you're doing some of these things. Like I made all of these mistakes myself. And the reason we make these mistakes is because no one tells us in this modern society how to learn skills like coding properly, like how to actually go through the process in the right kind of way. And this simply frustrates me. So that is exactly why I actually made a completely free course on Skillshare, where also today's video sponsor, where I will teach you how to learn to code, like all the methods and mindsets that you need for the rest of your programming journey to learn to code properly. The course has been extremely well received. So the course is hosted on Skillshare and Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes by industry experts across all kinds of fields like programming, film, entrepreneurship, specific technical skills like Photoshop. Like for example, I myself learned Photoshop from Skillshare that I still use to this day to edit the thumbnails on this YouTube channel. And they've also recently announced smarter class categories, three new class topics on a creative careers, creative inspiration and AI and innovation, which is going to be super relevant for a lot of you. And you can even filter classes based on a specific software or material that you want to learn. So I spoke to Skillshare and I was able to get a special deal just for the viewers of this channel. And that is that the first 500 people to click that link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So go click that link in the description. Remember, free trial only for the first 500 people. And with that, let's move on with the video. And the third way that you're most likely wasting time when you're learning the code is that you keep watching motivational YouTube videos 
like this one. Now, this might sound ironic coming from someone who makes a lot of these videos. That is mainly what this channel is for. If you just keep watching these kinds of videos and not taking action, you're not actually making progress. You're simply wasting time. For example, if you watch through this video right now, and then after watching this video, you just completely forget about it. You don't apply anything that you learned here. Or in other words, if your behavior doesn't change in any kind of way after watching this video, you haven't actually learned anything. You haven't made any progress. You have simply got some entertainment, which might be valuable. There's an easy trap to fall into to just keep binge watching videos like this from YouTubers like myself and think that yes, I'm learning the code, I'm making progress, I'm doing work. But really it's not work unless you're actually taking something from it and applying it in some kind of way. Otherwise it is a waste of time. And I would literally like it if at some point you get to the point where you essentially graduate from this YouTube channel, for example, like you got to the point where these videos that are mainly targeted at beginners don't even apply to you that much anymore. So you can move on to not watch my channel at all. Like I would literally like that because that means that you have made so much progress that you already sort of know the gist of the things that I'm saying. And the fourth way you're probably wasting time is you don't practice every single day. Now, I don't mean you literally have to practice every single day. Like you can't ever take a day off or something like that. But what I am saying that let's say you learn to code a bit today, but then it takes you a week or two weeks to keep going. Really, you're just spinning your wheels because at the end of that week or two weeks, it takes a while for your brain to sort of recall the things that you learned previously. Because if you don't practice something, eventually your brain will forget about it. So really what's super important with learning any skills is consistency. It's less even about the intensity of like how much you're doing every day. It's just the fact that you're picking up your course or project or whatever every single day and you're doing at least something every day, like that is a lot more important. Unless you're doing it with consistency, unless you keep doing it and you keep sort of progressively overloading the difficulty level of the kinds of things you're doing with code, you're probably not making progress. You're just spinning your wheels and wasting time. And the fifth way that you're probably wasting time is you're only following tutorials. Again, this might sound like something I shouldn't be saying as a YouTuber who makes tutorials, but like this needs to be said. As much as tutorials can be very helpful in the beginning of your journey, if you're building something completely new, it can be helpful to just go through a tutorial on a building that thing, and then you could sort of get the foundations of how these things work. But then if after that you just watch another tutorial, another tutorial, and you're not really building anything on your own, you're just following something directly from the tutorial, you're not really learning, you're just copy pasting, and you're not really like learning to think using your own brain and apply these things in actual real world applications. Because as a programmer, a lot of the time, the most important thing isn't actually writing the code. The most important thing is knowing what code to write. I've talked about this a lot. Like the real job of a programmer, especially now with AI, isn't to do the manual work of typing out the code. It's understanding when to apply which concepts of programming, how to design and architect your application in a useful way, in an efficient way. And if you're not doing any of that yourself, you're just letting the tutorial guy tell you what to build every single time, you're not really making progress in the long run. And instead you're probably waiting wasting your time. Okay, so if all of these things are the ways that you're probably wasting your time, what should you do instead? Well, really to me, the way I look at it is that the only thing that matters when it comes to learning the code is writing code in some kind of way. And ideally writing code in the context of some project that you have come up with on your own. Everything else is really just a waste of time, at least in the long run. Sure, in the beginning, you're going to need to do some course, you're going to need to read some stuff to like sort of understand what you're even doing. You might need to follow a tutorial just to get the gist of something. But in the long run, to really keep making progress, what you should really be doing is always just picking out new projects that you really want to build and then putting in the work to just go through the uncomfortable process of figuring out how to do them on your own. Because once you go through it with no help at all from anyone apart from Google and ChatGPT, like you're going to realize where the missing pieces are. You're going to realize where you're not really that strong and iteratively over time you're just going to keep getting better. So again, all of this is just an overview that can get you started. There's a lot more details about motivation, about learning techniques, about what projects to build, like in what order to learn things, things like this that I cover in my Skillshare course that I mentioned before, which again, you can do completely free down below using that Skillshare free trial as long as you're one of the first 500 people. And with that, I will see you in the next video.